Alright Owls, welcome to day 4 of Grammar 110. Today we are covering the parts of speech. There are 8 parts of speech. Nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, and interjections. Nouns are people, places, things, ideas, and emotions. So some examples. Jess, man, Colorado, notebook, theory, love, happiness. Pronouns take the place of a noun. Examples, he, she, they, it, this, that, someone, everyone, nobody, all, each, and neither. Verbs are actions. Examples, swim, hike, think, calculate, wonder, dream, be, is. Adjectives describe nouns, pronouns, and sometimes other adjectives. They include articles like a, an, and the. So some examples are green, for, tall, small, soft, minty, savory, these, and those. Adverbs describe verbs, adverbs, and adjectives. They tell when or how something happens. Examples, tonight, after, quickly, brightly, lovingly, unwittingly, well. Prepositions are part of prepositional phrases. You can see yesterday's lesson on sentence parts if you want to know more about those and they tell where or when something happens. Examples, in, around, over, near, before, and outside. Conjunctions are words that link things. It's important to note the two different types of conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions are the fanboys, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Subordinate conjunctions begin subordinate or dependent clauses. Examples are because, if, although, despite, until, when. Interjections do not have a function. They're usually exclamations. Examples are, oh, ouch, wow, hey. Those are the eight parts of speech. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I will answer them either as a reply or in my Q&A on Saturday. For practice, there are some sentences at the end of this video. See if you can determine what part of speech each word in these sentences. If you want me to check your answers, I'll leave them in the comments and I will do so. That's all I have for you today. I hope you all have an amazing day.